I am not God like man. <laughs> no, I'm just a man. It just shows that I'm actually I'm just a man with insecurities, a man with fears, and a man who struggles to become a good father and a loving husband. He has thought about this, of course, more than I have. We both can't run. I don't think in this country it is smart for both mother and father to run for political office. Kenya has been ranked dismally as one of the most corrupt countries in the world. MP, 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 MP. <laughs> My name is Tony Kamau. Uh, I'm the producer for Soft Tea. Um, one of the biggest challenges of this film was just raising the amount of money required to finish the film. Uh, there was over 700 hours of footage that was shot over five years. So, and what you saw on screen was one and a half hours. So that took about two years of editing, like serious editing. There was a huge team that had to, you know, digitize things, arrange it, and that required like a lot of money um, so one of the biggest challenges that we faced as a first-time director producer team uh, the director is Sam Soko um, was convincing people you know to believe in us as first-time Kenyan filmmakers um, unfortunately you can't really be able to raise much financing in Kenya the only local money we ended up getting was a docu box uh, which is a documentary film fund. Uh, but most of the money we had to go and fundraise from US broadcasters, UK broadcasters. So we hope that there'll be more sources of local financing for local documentaries and local films because we need to be telling our stories both for local audiences and for global audiences. When I finished watching the movie, I, I was shocked by what they went through. I was shocked by what I took them through. And I felt like I was a very responsible person because I was out there and there was somebody and I wasn't there for them. But at the same time, it also shows that when you sacrifice for your country or sacrifice for an ideal behavior, there's a heavy price to pay. Watching the film, the hardest part for me was seeing my son writing uh, Happy Father's Day, but instead he makes the card out to mom. And, and I was like, why, what's going on here? And I, I cannot begin to imagine what he was going through. And then also seeing what my husband was going through the campaign period and knowing, wishing I would have been there but couldn't be there. Yeah, that was very difficult for me. For the film, my role was, uh, I was a drone pilot for the film. And besides being a drone pilot, I was also, you know, uh, you know, around the director so many times. So when we were filming, uh, I, I was part of the guys. I know we are filming an activism story through Boni and stuff like that. Until today, when I watched, and yeah, it's a, it's a whole different story, ideally. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing film, and also just seeing my shots over there, yeah, it was the best feeling as well. I think this is a film that should be watched by everyone. Everyone, literally. Everyone who can understand, like, can understand words and whatever in pictures, can comprehend it, then I think it should be watched by everyone. For me, I feel changed by just watching the film and I was part of the crew. So just imagine someone who doesn't know how, you know, how the film was or how it was made or doesn't know even going to that extent. So that's why it should be whatever to everyone, because for me personally, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's affected me, like, in a positive way. So the film shows that this country is very rotten and very corrupt, but it also shows that there's a place for active citizens to fight for a better country. There's a place for clean politics that you can actually vie for office and not bribe voters, that you can run for public office and be funded by the voters, because that's what actually happened in my campaign. It also shows that there's a, there's a, there's a place for idealism and belief and hope for a better country. When people have watched and have said thank you for this, I'm like, the only thank you I want is that we need to be better. We need to know that we want better and not just sit and want it. No one is going to bring it to us, but we need to want better. If we want better for ourselves, we shall not allow some of the things that we have allowed. We have a voice. We are in millions. We can rise up and just say enough of this.